once you get the locker installed and you start to button up the differential, what you need to do is have the wheels and tires reinstalled for this next process. It is important, whether it's in the front or the rear, that the pinion is engaged. So in a rear differential, that means that the vehicle needs to be in park or in gear, or in the front differential, it needs to be in four wheel drive and in park or, and in, or in gear. What that does is that sends resistance to the pinion so that you can perform the wheel spin test. And it's as follows. Take one wheel, let's say it's on the driver's side, rotate it backwards. Go to the passenger side, you're gonna rotate it in the opposite direction. It should, rot it should ratchet freely with no binding. The key to this is holding that initial wheel in the direction you started with. If you don't, you can get varying results that are not accurate and will not prove that you're passing or failing the wheel spin test. So repeat it in the opposite direction. Take the driver's wheel and push it forward and rotate the passenger wheel in the reverse direction. Again, no binding, free ratcheting. You're gonna then go to the opposite side. Roll that forward, rotate the driver's side in the opposite direction and repeat in the other direction. That's all four directions. This vehicle, this differential passes the wheel spin test.